Hi, Anne here from the GetSite control team developing the Aurora theme for Shopify. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a smart size chart with Aurora. It will change dynamically depending on the product and disappear from the pages where I don't need it. To set up the size chart, I'll use Shopify pages, meta objects and meta fields. So, let's get started. Here's our product database. I want to show different size charts for tops and bottoms and hide the size chart for the handbag. I'll start with creating the pages with the size charts. Let's go to Online Store, Pages and hit Add Page. Let's first add a distinctive title to our page. Then let's add the key element of the page, a table with sizes and measurements. To make the table adaptive and ensure it looks good on different screen sizes, I'll design it using the HTML editor. Let's switch to the editor view and add our table. Here's what it looks like in the regular viewer. The key feature of this table is a special class size guide table available in the Aurora theme. Here's the table without this class. And that's what happens when I add it. Under the table, I'll add recommendations for taking measurements. And at the top of the table, I'll add an image of a mannequin to make the measurements easier to understand. Let's also center the image. Our size chart page is ready. Here's the final result. I've created a similar size chart for the bottoms, but with different measurements. Here's what it looks like. Now that the pages are ready, let's create the meta object. I go to Settings, Custom Data, and in the Meta Objects section I hit Add Definition. I'm going to name the definition and then add two fields. Page, let's name it, for example, Size Chart Page and leave the rest of the options as they are. And single line text. Let's name it size chart label, turn off the user's display name and leave the remaining settings unchanged. Down below, it's important to check the enabled storefronts access and translations if you have a multi-language store. Our meta object is ready, so let's save it. Now it's time to add entries to the meta object. In the Shopify admin, I go to Content, Meta Objects. Here is our Meta Object. Let's open it and hit Add Entry. In the first field, I select the page. And in the Label field, I enter Size Chart. Then I hit Save and additionally change the handle to better distinguish the entries later. Let's now create a second entry for the bottom size chart. Note that I add the same value to the label to get a more consistent look on the storefront, but you can use different labels for different pages if you want. Now I'm going to link the meta object entries to the products by creating a product meta field. So I'll go back to Settings, Custom Data. This time I'll select Products and again hit Add Definition. I'll name my definition size charts, but you can name it as you want. Then I'll select the definition type, it's gonna be meta object. And as a reference, I select my size charts meta object. Let's finally check the storefronts access and hit Save. The next step is to add the meta object entries to the corresponding products using the meta field. So let's go back to the product section. You can choose to manually add the entries to your products one by one. To do that, open the product, scroll down to meta fields, and find the one we've just created. However, if you have many products in your database, I recommend editing them in bulk. Let's select all the products and hit Bulk Edit. Here I hit Columns and scroll down to the Meta Fields section to select our Meta Field. To add the entry, select the field, hit Select Entry and choose the corresponding entry. Note that I didn't add the entry to the handbag. I'm done with editing, so I hit Save. The last step is to add our size charts to the theme. Let's open the theme editor and go to the product template. Here I select the variant picker block. 
In the information drawer settings, I first add the option to the drawer. In our case, it's size. Then for the drawer label, I hit the icon on the side, select the product template and find size charts. The system will display the entry you can use for this setting. In our case, it's size chart label. Then I scroll down to the source of the information drawer. Here I choose page and also hit the icon on the side to add a dynamic source. Then I select size charts and size chart page. And that's it. Now when you hit the label on the side of the size option, our smart size chart will slide in from the side. If we change the product, we'll see a different content in the drawer. And for the products without Metafield values, like our handbag, there is no size chart at all. That concludes our tutorial. Now go set up dynamic size charts for your Shopify store. Bye!